Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Basically, today we are here with another comparison video. So this is something I honestly didn't even plan for today. I planned on another video, but then I went to go do my Abyssal Demons task and I was like, wait, which one of these is better? So I figured we'd go ahead and make a video out of it. Um, I have a ton of Abyssal Demons, and if not, I can use more if need be. But what we're going to go ahead and do today, this is a gear setup I'm going to be using, just so you guys know. We're also going to be using these stats, so 77 attack, 99, 75. Really, these are the only two that matter. What I'm going to be testing today, though, is basically the efficiency of using prayer potions with Prostolite. Oh, shit. Shit. Alright, so what we are going to be testing today is basically how this armor compares to this armor. Now, you guys may have some things to say right off the bat, and you may be like, Wow, this noob's only got initiate. And I'd be like, I don't know if that's how you say it, but I'd be like, you're damn right. So I'm going to go do some quests real quick, and I'll be right back. Uh, the commitment to the video is there. So, there's that. I mean... I, you guys don't care, but you gotta get my proselyte, man. Or, actually, I'm saying it wrong, I'm so sorry. It's like, proselyte, there's no T in the beginning, so forever's triggered, I'm sorry. Alright, so now this is the armor that we'll be using. Proselyte, or pr proselyte, sorry. Proselyte, chest and legs, along with your usual kind of pleb gear. I mean, improvements that you could make as far as strength, DPS, or whatever. Uh, torture and primordials, but I'm not willing to drop that money. It's another 40 mil. I don't need to. Um, basically, I'll be comparing the Prozolite bonuses, as you guys can see. I think I had plus 18 a little bit ago, so plus 22, obviously an upgrade. Uh, compared to, I believe, the plus 9 that I should be getting with uh, Bandos, not uh, plus 10. So, as you guys can see, there's obviously a 12 point difference when it comes to prayer. So, basically, is it worth it when using just melee, like prayer overhead? And also, is it worth it when you're just using uh, piety and attacking these. I'll go ahead and kind of figure that out for you guys, so I'll be back here in a second. Okay, so here we are after a little bit of testing, got it all sorted out, so here is what we have as far as XP goes to start. Now as far as XP with melee prayers, if you guys see, with the bando setup that I had going, I was able to get 77.5k XP per hour. Granted, this is on a pretty, you know, I mean, lower stat account, whatever. Uh, compare that to the proselyte, where I was able to get 75.2, and then with piety, doesn't matter whether or not the piety goes with melee prayer or not, I was able to get 100k XP per hour with the bandos compared to 97.1k with the proselyte armor. So from there, we go ahead and move on into the doses that I was using per hour in regards to prayer. Now remember, this comes with 70 prayer, so that does influence how much this is going to cost, because the higher prayer level you have, the more prayer you will be getting back per sip. So with that said, it, it will actually change the overall efficiency in favor of the Bandos armor, so take that into account. As you guys can see, with the melee prayer and Bandos, I use 38, compare that to 29 with the Proselyte. With Piety and Bandos, I use 75 doses an hour, compare that to 57 with the Proselyte. And with Bandos, with Melee and Piety, I was using 112.5 doses an hour, which is insane. <laughs> and then with uh, Proselyte, I was using 86.5. So, with that said, we'll go on into now basically what you gain versus what you lose. So, with Bandos and the Melee Prayer, you are getting another 2.3k XP per hour at the cost of another 9 doses. With Piety, you're getting another 2.9k XP per hour at the cost of 15 doses. And then, obviously, with Piety and Melee Prayer, you're still getting 2.9k XP. This is coming at a cost of 26 doses an hour. So from there we go to the overview and pretty much this is how much you have to make to actually be able to do these things and call it efficient. So as you guys can see, if you just use melee prayer, basically if you can make more than 870k an hour, it's more profitable for you to, or it's more beneficial for you to go ahead and use bandos than it is proselyte. Um, with piety, you have to make over 1.8 mil an hour. Now this is where it gets a little iffy because I mean, even with Zora, if you're not doing it like very efficiently, maybe you're doing like Catherby teleports, uh, may not be worth it to you. But 1.8 mil an hour is the threshold for using piety. And as you guys can see, with piety and melee prey, you're gonna have to make over 2.6 mil an hour. So that's maybe where I'd cut it off. Um, the 1.8, some people could go ahead and make, but the 2.6, that's a little rough. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did make sure to go ahead and hit that like button just chilling out right now doing a little bit of fire giants on the noob account should have an episode of that out probably 
tomorrow or the day after. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. However, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Um, if there's anything you guys want me to go ahead and compare in the future, comment about it down below. Uh, subscribe to the video. <laughs> subscribe to the video. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content. And uh, yeah, that's about it for me.